to another 3DS Max tutorial. I'm your host, FreeDB67, and today I'll be talking about Vertex Alphas and R Factor 1, which basically is the same concept for R Factor 2. Let's begin. For this example, I'm using T1 LERP T2 Vertex Alpha. You can go into the list and see other Vertex Alphas to choose from. For this example, though, I'm just going to keep it simple. Use a basic dirt and grass texture. So as it's called, Vertex Alpha, so let's get in vertice mode. You scroll down here to Vertex Properties, see the Alpha as the percentage of the, the bleed, or how, you know what one texture will come through the other. So let's start on this far side. I'm just going to go all the way down from 100 down to 0. So we'll do 90. Zero. Now you can see the vertex shading is not showing. One way to show it is you can export it, go in game and check it, or you can click on object properties, vertex channel display, select this to vertex alpha, click OK, and then this was 100% down here, and then you can see we're down to 0% here. So the darker it is, it's the more bleed from the other texture that's through. At this point, you're ready to export it in game, which I've already done. So set up a camera and as you can see it starts off at full dirt then slowly bleeds in more grass more grass till down here it's full grass and then it goes from full grass to full dirt now by this point uh, once you kind of get it sorted and get it working uh, you can come back in and say if this is your infield you're messing with what I've been told is that you don't want to edit the the geometry of the object once the alpha is done. If you have to remove or add verts or polys or, or whatever, uh, you want to set the alphas once it's set the geometry set in stone. So, for example, if you do this and then you have to redo a section of the infield, and it, it could possibly screw up how the alphas are done. And if that does happen, or you make a mistake, what you can do is come up here to tools channel info and you can see this right here alpha select that and we'll just clear it I will just collapse that and now you can start over now this is the same basic idea that will work with R factor 2 uh, it's just the shaders would be something called something different you know a blended grass infield or blended grass dirt infield etc I highly suggest you back up your max file if you're working on your actual track uh, that way you can have a play without hopefully not damaging your main file or just using a flat plane like I did in this example. Uh, that way it's you, you can find that happy place because it's not always going to be 100% or 0%. Sometimes 50-50 does work, uh, you know, 80-20. It's really about just fiddle until you get that right mix. Any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them here in this YouTube video or over at my forum at nsrs.joelcentral.com. Thanks for watching.